Hey guys, it's Mega Mr. Van here, and I am here to bring you the third video in the eight-part series, Critical Issues in Education. Now, this video is all about project-based learning. I'm really excited about this because I love project-based learning. I use it in my classroom all the time. But the general definition of project-based learning is essentially a teaching method in which students gain knowledge and skills by working for an extended period of time to investigate and respond to an engaging and complex question, problem, or challenge. And that really is all project-based learning is. You have proposed a question that has multiple solutions to it, and you allow students to work on that. And it can be used for any classroom. That's what I love about it. But I think Albert Einstein, he actually says it best. And um, this, this is just kind of amazing to me because it captures the essence of project-based learning. Albert Einstein says this, Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it is stupid. And that is what project-based learning is all about. It gives students the opportunity who wouldn't normally succeed on standardized assessments to actually blossom and grow and uh, encourage a deeper understanding and create a lifelong learning within them. Now, let's talk about some of the perspectives of project-based learning. And as always in these videos, I start with perspective one, which is uh, the pro perspective, and then we'll go into the con perspective. But the pro perspective of project-based learning, I mean, it, it really allows students to fully explore a topic, and it still allows them to meet deadlines that you set. So it's not just wandering from idea to idea, um, and then hopefully having some sort of something at the end. Uh, instead, students are required to create something, to create a piece of material that you've determined that kind of helps fit the project, uh, and it allows you to still be able to grade using a rubric. And it still allows you to set deadlines so you know your students are meeting goals. More importantly, it is student-centered. I am all for student-centered learning because that means kids are engaging the material as it is. And I think that is so important that students are engaging the material. The teacher isn't engaging the material to the students. Uh, Project-based learning, it really does develop problem solving and collaboration skills. I've seen a tremendous impact within my students who come in with a generalized idea of how the education system works, that they need to sit back and listen, and that's all they do. And once, once they enter my classroom, they actually have to start developing into leaders and taking charge of their education. I've just seen how it changes kids, um, it just changes their lives. Uh, I had one student who, when I first met him, he was very shy and never wanted to take charge, you know, very quiet kid, very smart, but, you know, he, he would never speak up in class. And now, three years later, he is just, I think, one of the best leaders within the school, and I am so excited to see where he goes in life, all because of project-based learning. And finally, project-based learning is less test-oriented, and I think that is a key component right there. Uh, I know, just from my experience, I get a little test anxiety. I get worried about what's happening. I know my wife gets test anxiety all the time, and project-based learning is a way to overcome that because now you're creating a real piece of material that is going to affect someone's life, especially in a true project-based learning environment. Now let's look at the con perspective, because I always think it's interesting. So I, I've heard a lot of people say they are opposed to project-based learning because it honestly takes too much time. They need to get through the entire textbook in a year, and they don't want to take the time to step back and let kids explore uh, a topic in depth. They, they need to always go from page one to page 300, and that's how it's been, and they just don't want to deal with that. So it takes too much time. Uh, another concern I hear is that students lose interest easily and will become bored. And yes, that's true. Students can lose interest and become bored with what they're doing. That's the importance of deadlines and group checks and making sure that you are able to hold the students accountable. Uh, and in a sense, it keeps them constantly engaged. 
And then finally, my biggest thing that I hear is how do you measure student learning in a project-based learning environment? And a lot of it is rubrics and observations, but you know, it's just the same way as being a normal teacher, except for now you just don't have as many tests and quizzes to grade. Instead, you're actually looking at if students fully understand the topic and if they create a solution to the answer. Uh, one of the potential benefits of project-based learning, and I, honestly I think this overcomes any potential danger, is that it teaches students to become lifelong learners and really it helps them find what they are passionate about. It helps them develop collaboration skills, so just basic communication skills, as well as problem solving skills, which are, as we know, 21st uh, century learning skills that we need to be teaching our students anyways. And project-based learning allows for the perfect outlet for that. Now the potential danger of project-based learning, again, is that students become bored and that they'll wait till the last minute to complete a project. Therefore, not truly learning anything, just completing a project and that's it because it's 11 p.m. and the project's due the next day at 8 a.m. Uh, but honestly, I don't see that happening as much in a well-structured project-based learning environment. Hey, check the sources below for this video. Leave comments or any questions that you might have and thanks for watching.